Logan here at Lander's Corner. I'm gonna talk a little bit about eggs and the way that they are raised and why that matters. With eggs, or meat for that matter, what the animal eats and how they live matters on the nutrients we get. So when we compare a duck or a chicken that are out and they're able to dig in the dirt and eat bugs and worms and seeds and grasses, they're going to have a lot higher nutrient value than one that is fed a single feed that, you know, is is artificially formulated with, with different chemicals and minerals and things that are designed to give them the optimal way of growing, so they say, versus just the natural way. So, for example, you've got like the omega-3s and 6s that we've talked about a lot with Meg and the benefits of health, they're a lot higher when you have an animal that's pasture-raised, when they're out there roaming and eating goodies that is gonna be a healthier product. It's not gonna be deficient. So a lot of times, say, with the chicken, a chicken's really more of a carnivore than anything. So they're gonna be eating those bugs then, and that's gonna help them be healthy. And the healthier they are, when we consume a product from them, the more we get out of it. So it's really important to understand that. There are differences in duck and chicken eggs slightly. So we're gonna have a little higher fat content uh, in, a, in a duck egg. We're going to have uh, B12 is really high in a duck egg. And that's, again, going to go back to the diet. Most ducks are going to be raised out and about. They're not the commercialized uh, animal that chickens are. So when we talk about research done by people that are way smarter than I am, like Dave Asprey with Bulletproof, he talks about the importance of the pasture-fed the the eggs the meat in the different the different products we get so definitely recommend relying on on other people's research and understanding why but the minerals like selenium and even zinc they're right here in a bioavailable manner and bioavailable means that our bodies can use them instead of a artificially created uh, mineral. One more thing that I really like about the duck eggs, and, and we sell a lot of the duck eggs for people, are the allergies. So chicken egg protein allergy is really common. I did not realize that. A lot of times people can eat quail, geese, or duck eggs that have the chicken allergy without any problems. So that has been a way that we've able been able to help people eat eggs because they're they're you know, they're inexpensive, they're easy, you can use them for so many things. It's just a good, good food to get a wide range of things. So, I hope this helps. Definitely give it a try. We're trying to encourage more people to raise ducks and to have a uh, larger supply of these, but it's still that weird factor for a lot of people. So let's take a look at the egg. The duck eggs, they are a little more difficult to crack, but what I like to do is put a good indention in there, bust my thumb through it, and then pull open, and it comes right out. So it, it works just fine. It's a little intimidating because it's a different way of cracking than we're used to with chicken eggs. But the, the duck egg, you can see, is larger yolk ratio. So the yolk is a lot bigger, and that's where I'd mentioned earlier that there's a higher fat content in duck eggs. Well, that's because it has a larger yolk. Also, that's not a bad thing. The more fat is not necessarily a bad thing. I think we have been misled uh, with that kind of war on fat where we lumped all fats together. The trans fats are bad. We need to stay away from them. But good, high-quality fats are vital, vital to overall health. The duck egg is amazing in baked goods. They rise better, they're more moist. I, I like to fry them up and leave the yolk a little runny. It's our favorite way to eat them. The duck egg is well 
well worth incorporating. It's nothing to be scared of, and it is as useful as any other type of egg, even the chicken. So we love them. Hope you will give them a try.